Hello everyone, welcome back to our video. Today we'll be doing the extension of exercise 3.1, which is to play a simple song on Arduino. So, as always, click create new circuits to go into our new exercise. So we need to key in our exercise name, which is exercise 3.2 now. Go in, put in an Arduino Uno. And then after that, your piezo. Remember that we need to always have a base value for the resistance. So we need to set the 100 ohms for safety measure. The right leg will be negative, so let's connect it to ground. And then the left leg will be positive, so we need to connect it to our signal. Now, we need to code it to play the sound properly. So let's say we need to have this one. So it's on speaker 4, so let's change it to pin number 4. And then we can change it to block and text to look at the tone and the musical notes. I have some musical notes over here that you can reference to. So basically we have all the value over here, the notes and the corresponding tone in Finger cat. And over here, I also have the one that is for Mario. So let's try to set this one up and let's see what will happen. So the first one, we need to change the tone to 64 for 0 0.1 second, which is the duration over here. Now let me put this one here. And then we need to wait for 0 0.15 second. Remember that you always have to put the weight because otherwise, they won't be able to play correctly. Okay, after that, we just duplicate it, another 64 for 0 0.1 second, but we will have to wait for 3 second now. Sorry, 0 0.3 second now. And then another same one, 64, 0 0.1 second, 0 0.3 second. Another one is 60 for 0 0.1 second and wait for 0 0.1 second only. After that, another 64. So this one should be 60. Okay, again 0 0.1 second, and but wait for 0 0.3 second. Okay, and then after that, the next one until we got to the last one. Now for the last one, the one that have tone 55, we can actually put this one as 1 second or 2 second depend on where, which one you want because this is actually the last one so as long as the time is longer than the one over here it will be able to play correctly and the other time will be the duration you wait until the next round play which means until you repeat again. Let me close all of this first. Okay, these are the code that we need. So let's see if it will play correctly. So we have already seen that it will be working. But what about if we want to change the volume? So basically, if you want to change the volume that is by the buzzer, we can use potential meter. Because the potential meter will be able to block some of the voltage, so we will be able to reduce the actual voltage that go into it. So let's say if I put it over here, okay, and then connect the other leg to this part, okay, then I'll be able to control the volume using the potential meter. But before we do that, we need to actually change the resistance value to the appropriate value. In this case, 5 kilo ohm is the best one because you'll be able to turn it low enough and yet if you just keep it as 0 over here, it will be maximum volume. So let's try this one out.
see with a potential meter we'll be able to change the volume as we like you can even change this value over here if you want to have like for example, you can set it for smaller value so you can check it can be more sensitive so you can change the volume more but then it will when you turn it to the maximum it will still be quite loud okay so for today's conclusion so with musical notes and duration we can change the value into speaker tone to you know um, in order to play the music and then we can use potentiometer to control the volume of the buzzer as well that's all for today and i hope to see you again next time thank you and bye bye